Hey everybody, it's Max here at Modern Classics. Today we're going to be taking a look at this 1970 Lancia Fulvia. First we're going to do a, a quick walk around and then uh, I'm going to immediately put us in the driver's seat and we'll go for a test drive and, uh, and then we'll dive into some sp specifics and we'll take it back into the shop. I'll run you through the lights, tell you about the condition of the car, uh, the process of importing it, uh, how you can make it yours uh, legally and um, the overall condition. I'll talk about some of the functions. We'll run through the lights, uh, but with, uh, I'll also pop the engine compartment so you can hear it run and I'll show you under the back trunk as well. Uh, but before that, let's go for a test drive. All right, here we are in the 1970 launch of Fulvia Series 1. Here we are with the original key. I love the startup process of these. You put that key in, twist it, 180 degrees, and you push in. Your choke is down here. We've got our wipers there with squirters. Pretty cool to see how that works. Here's your fan. All the gauges function in this car. Uh, but let's go for a drive. First is straight up and forward to the left. This is the 1.3 liter four cylinder. I believe it produces about 90 horsepower and it loves to be revved. Turn signals do work. I'll show you on the exterior when we have a second. steering wheel in your hands. Steering wheel is very light, nice and true. I'll hit the brakes. We don't dive to the left or to the right. Downshifting synchros are nice. We're going to hit a bump here. I want you to hear how quiet it is in here. No awkward squeaks or rattles. We've got our oil pressure sitting proper at about 40. Our water temperature is normal. Let's go through some gears. time I'd take this out onto the interstate. I've driven this car quite a bit. I've probably put about 150 miles on it. And on the interstate, it's just as uh, at home as it is here. I've done about uh, 65 to 70. Say, so we don't really want to go much faster than 70 miles an hour. But it's pretty comfortable at 65. It literally is a car you could daily drive. And what's nice is it's relatively inexpensive for Italian build quality and you're not going to worry about taking it to the grocery store and leaving it in the parking lot. Another bump's coming up. No awkward squeaks from the suspension. No rattles on the inside. Alright, so that was a quick test drive. We'll pull it back into the shop and I will tell you more about this car. All right, everyone, here we are back in the shop, and uh, let's take a closer look at this Lancia Fulvia. This is the Series 1. I have a Series 2 car. Do check my YouTube channel for that video where you can see the two. I will put them next to each other, and you can see the differences between the two. They're rather slight, but uh, it's kind of fun because they didn't do too big of differences, but you can choose which style fits you the best. This one being the Series 1 will have these awesome 
quad headlights, as the series does, series two does too. Uh, this one's all the bright works in very nice condition, and uh, the series one will have this grill here with this metal surround, whereas the Series 2 is just one big kind of open space. So, like I said, check out my YouTube channel or visit my website uh, to see the differences. This one will also have this spear down the center, and you gotta love having a little hood scoop. Uh, and that does cool the engine. I will show you uh, the underneath the engine compartment soon. This one has very cool steelies with the Lancia logo, wrapped in proper Dunlop tires. All the glass is very nice. All the bright work, trim, rubber, etc. Glass is very clean. Launchers were known for their engineering. We never got them in the United States, um, but they just have great little tangible details. They're definitely known for their uh, build quality and their engineering. That definitely rivaled some of the German cars. This one was the more common car. This is designed to compete with cars like the BMW 2002. You can see this is the Rally Sport. That's what that S stands for. That very cool European plate which will come with the car. All your bright workout back is very nice too. While we're here, why not take a look underneath the trunk. Here you can see uh, the full toolkit and jack, or I should just say jack, not toolkit. Uh, do re I have about 150 photos plus of this car, and also undercarriage photos too. Uh, I'll take all this out and you'll be able to see the condition of the metal under there. This car was repainted recently by my friend in the UK, a very high quality paint job. Hard to find any blemishes anywhere. Looks very, very clean. This video will not show it exactly uh, in, the, in the direct sunlight, so do take a look at my photos. I have a better representation. Same with the interior. I know this isn't going to show very well, but I just want to tell you about the quality of everything. The door sills are really nice. Everything's really clean in here. So are your jams. Nice new rubber. Very cool seats. This car does have seat belts. Here's this lovely little dashboard. Speedometer works reading 91,378 kilometers. There's your fuel gauge, water gauge, oil gauge. That all works. So does your RPM meter. I showed you the windshield wipers. They work. The fan works too. There are your uh, HVAC controls for temperature. We've got these fantastic little dials on the dash for your vents. Uh, here's how you control the lights by pulling this there and you do have brights and your driving lamps. We'll leave the brights out and I'll go ahead and turn on the left turn signal and it sounds like we'll have to have the ignition uh, accessory in the on position. You can see our lights working. There's your running lamps, left turn signal and this car was uh, MOT certified uh, in the UK which means it is road legal met their standards here are our lights with the left turn signal I'll hit the right turn signal so you can see that that functions really nice detailing here's our right turn signal Looking very good. Let's go ahead and check out the undercarriage or the uh, under the engine or in the engine compartment. <laughs> My apologies. Let's see here. Let me not kill the battery. Turn that off. And your latch for the hood is right here. Also, this is your choke control. So that controls the choke. This car recently, oh, let's turn off the lights. When I brought it over uh, from the UK, it landed at port uh, in California had it shipped to uh, Santos's Italian car service shop where it was given a clean bill of health and it is so much fun to drive those guys are fantastic they check this out I have the service bill for this car there it is the 1.3 liter v4 engine 
just super cool. You've got these dual carburetors on there. Nice new battery, proper Bosch unit. There is your uh, VIN tag. Everything's intact. This car will be sold on a clean Idaho, t Idaho title. Do check your state's local regulations on having this old of a car. But I can assist and uh, advise you to my best on that process. But just a very fun, it, this is a front wheel drive car, four speed, and it is just one of the best front wheel drive cars. Uh, and in fact, a, a lot of people re regard this as one of the most fun front wheel drive cars to drive. May as well go ahead and show you. I do have scans of all of this. Here is the UK registration, license plate, some photos of the restoration, some service bills up front. This is pretty thick. There's a lot of photos in there. You have some original manuals. And you have the original brochure, which is very, very cool. And then just some other photos of the car. Just overall, one of the, the nicest Fulvias I've ever seen. I'm extremely excited to be representing this car. The car was rekeyed as well, so all these locks are proper and they all match throughout. Your tires are in good condition. All the wheels on all sides are in good shape. The bright work wall showing uh, a bit of use is how the way I think a car should look, especially from this era. This is one that'll remind you to go out and drive it without having to worry about it. Just at an incredible price point. I'm having so much fun with these Italian cars that are affordable. Things in the market, or these cars in the market have just gone crazy. Good luck getting into um, some Alphas these days. Even, uh, you know, you get into any Maseratis as well. You're well over $100,000 and there's just so much bang for your buck with these. And there's another one. Do check out my YouTube channel. I've got all sorts of fun cars that we never saw in the United States. I've been bringing them over and legally so that, uh, number one, I get to enjoy them at first and then uh, offer them for sale and give somebody else a chance to have some fun with these. Anyways, thanks for your support. If you're interested in this car, you can always give me a call. My phone number is 208-720-8854. You can also shoot me an email or you can hop on my website, www.modernclassicautos, autos with an S, dot com. And also, go ahead and hit subscribe if you like what I'm doing. I'm always bringing over fun cars, and I like giving uh, some behind the scenes uh, when I go to auctions, or even when I pick these things up at port. So uh, you can kind of see the behind the scenes process there. Anyways, this car is live, it is for sale. Please give me a call if you're interested, or if you're interested in any of my other cars. Thanks for watching. Uh, talk to you soon.